In DVT, you can automate project creation and configuration using the command line interface. The DVT CLI SH script is in the bin directory of the DVT distribution. The mandatory arguments of the create project command are the path to the project location and the project language. In case you are working on a mixed language project, use the lang argument multiple times with any of the languages that DVT supports, for instance a mixed system Verilog and VHDL project. The first time it's executed, the script will open the tool. Subsequently, if DVT is already running in the specified workspace, it will reuse the existing session. Note that the project is automatically created with the specified languages enabled. A default build file is generated containing a single build autoconfig directive. This directive tells DVT to scan the project and figure out what needs to be compiled. Once the build is done, the tool is ready to use. Optionally, we can specify the build configuration from the command line. This is done using the default build argument followed by a list of compilation directives such as top files, inkters, defines and so on. Be aware that all flags that come after the default build switch up to the end of the command line are considered build configuration directives. If you already have some file lists or argument files that you pass to the simulator, you can simply reuse them. Usually, we first specify the DVT init compilation directive, followed by a compatibility mode, because it tells DVT how to interpret the simulator specific arguments that follow. Of course, you can specify multiple build configurations, such as testbench only, RDL only, SOC, ABV on, etc. and also instruct the tool which one to build. In this simple example, default is just a name. As you can see, since the project is already created, we need to use the force flag in order to recreate the project. In case you prepared the build configuration file upfront, perhaps using a different script, just omit the flag from the CLI invocation. DVT will automatically use the existing build file. Huge file system hierarchies under the project directory, such as regression results, generated documentation or similar artifacts, may slow down the platform. Most of the time, such resources are not relevant within the IDE. To automatically exclude any file or directory which is not relevant for compilation, use the include auto argument on the command line. Note that the Project Explorer now only presents directories containing compiled sources and everything else is hidden. You can further tune what files and directories should be available in the IDE via the include, exclude and map switches. The command line interface also allows you to connect your DVT project to version control. Just make sure to use the proper CLI arguments depending on what you are using. For example, to connect it to a git repo, add the git option followed by the path to the git repository. In this video we've only covered the basics. The DVT CLI has many more features and represents the right way to go for a seamless reusable flow integration.